Hello everyone, welcome back to Neutralix. I'm your host Koslik. Today I'm teaching you how to play Hammer in Brawlhalla for 2024. I've got a level 100 Scarlet and I am going to be able to show you how to hit Brawlhalla with Hammer. Let's get right into this. The first thing you're going to want to do to improve at Hammer is to subscribe to Neutralix because this channel will actually help you improve at Brawlhalla. We have a library of content to help you improve. So subscribe. Like this video if you enjoy it and stay updated for future videos. Okay, let's actually get into this. So hop into training room and then what you're going to want to do when you're in training room is go to the player settings. Make sure show damage is on, show stun on, show hitbox is on, show hurtbox is on, and then item spawning off. Then let's switch tabs. Let's uh, put damage reset on and position reset on. And just make sure the bot is in the center of the map. If the bot isn't at the center of the map, you can switch the control bot mode. Turn the position reset off for a second. Put the bot wherever you want them to be. Position reset on again. And then let's go back to the player mode. Now they're in the center of the map. And what this allows you to do, it allows you to hit combos. And then they're going to reset to the center. In this guide, we're going to be talking about the gameplay. So the overall, what's every attack for? What's the purpose? When should you use them? Then let's talk about some basic strings and combos. This video isn't going into depth of every single combo. Uh, this is more of a general gameplay guide. Spoiler alert, you don't actually need to know all the combos to hit Valhalla. You just need to know a couple of them, and I'm going to be showing you them today. But if you want to learn about every single combo and string on Hammer, then go check out another video. It should be up by now. Um, we were trying to do this for every single weapon, but if not, subscribe to Neutralix and stay tuned. Okay, now let's talk about just the general gameplay. So the first move on Hammer, let's go over Downlight. That is your combo starter. It's a stacked combo starter and it hits almost behind a bit. It, it, it's stacked, right? So like if you're on top of somebody, this hits. So the key thing with this combo starter is because you want to play stacked, that kind of gives you kind of a hint. Hammer players want to play stacked. Same thing, this side light is very close to stacked, right? It's a little bit horizontal. You don't get a ton of horizontal momentum. Um, it's kind of like a get away from me tool. If someone's in front and I can't down light, I can side light. Um, neutral light is a stacked kind of kill option. Um, it's really good because it has some active frames, but it's not the most useful neutral light in the world because down light is stacked. The only difference between neutral light and down light is it's a little bit higher. Um, and the amount of active frames. So it's probably good for like team combos and stuff like that. Um, but it isn't necessarily like I'd prioritize downlight. I don't use neutral light a whole lot. It might be a little bit faster than downlight. It, it definitely feels like there's less startup. So if they're stacked and you think they can move and you want to get away from a tool, then neutral light is your go-to. There's like no startup frames actually. Holy crap. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's n one of the littlest amount of startup frames of any attack in Brahala for sure. Hammer neutral light. Now let's talk about the aerials. So down air is your scoop kill option. If they're below you, you down air. And this is the fastest kill option on hammer, which is crazy. Unless you're like horizontal. Uh, we'll be talking about that a little bit. Um, neutral air is like you're above me, get away from me tool. And you're going to also send them above. Side air is your horizontally away from me, get away from me. Um, it's also a kill option. And you have a little bit of momentum, so if you want to do like a dash jump sair, this covers a good amount of space very quickly, especially like you could be like empty hopping and then go for something like that. Um, same with the nair, like it, it can cover a lot of space very quickly in the air. Um, but you do like, you can't steer it all too much, right? You have some set paths, so you don't want to be spamming this necessarily, but the sair is a really good tool, especially if they're even grounded horizontally away. You could like dash jump and then sair if they got no dodge, or you can like dash jump, jump, and then sair or something like that to kind of bait out the dodge. Um, we'll be talking about the general gameplay more towards the end a bit more, but yeah, horizontal, vertical, vertical. Um, not really a diagonal. I guess nair is your best diagonal, um, but uh it's not a crap ton of diagonal same with on the ground with hammer it's all horizontal or stacked so if someone's diagonal to you then that's a bit of a dead zone unless you're playing a character like scarlet where you have neutral sig and look at that hitbox amazing it, it's on the shaft of the hammer it's crazy um so when you're picking hammer characters you can kind of think about that like if my opponent likes to be diagonal then maybe pick characters that have those diagonal options like scarlet or um core hammer and sig stuff like that recovery is same th kind of hitboxing as Nair, but it sends downward. So this is an amazing spiking tool. It's a really good kill option off stage because people like playing above you. And on Hammer, people like don't play people don't play above you because of Hammer recovery. It's insane. 
Um, and ground pound is a vertical spiking tool has a lot of startup but it's a very wide look at that hitbox it's just two big circles um so it's just like a it has a lot of force as well um so it's a really good mix up off stage but because of the amount of startup just be careful if you're in gold or plat you might be able to use this a bit more but if you're diamond and above it can be a bit slow so just watch out okay let's talk about the general combos so again downlight is your go go to combo starter when you're in white there's a couple options that you can go for so you can go for downlight side light um this is something that works into like yellow or orange i'd recommend it um the cool thing with this is it sets up into like a dash neutral light at two dodge frames and it goes down depending on decks um i don't know exactly the decks numbers i'm on four decks right now on this scarlet but something like that can work it's also a really good setup tool because you're near enough to your opponent you can start reacting to things so if you don't know what playing for reactions are if you set the bot to dodge randomly you can like delight side light see what they do and then try and cover it or something like that so you can like delight side light dodge up the night neutral sig uh it's just a little bit of a good positioning you could even like go for tempo as well so instead of playing for a reaction you can play for momentum so let's say you do delight side light you can jump chase dodge reverse snare and really kind of anything so like let's say you delight side light jump chase dodge reverse snare or something might be a little bit committing some of these follow-ups um they're good dodge reads and whatnot so i'd really recommend maybe pick the ones that's hardest for you to get punished so something maybe like that you can hold back and steer compared to holding forward um being able to just change up your momentum and mix things up is the key to not being punished for these follow-ups um so yeah again delight side lights your setup um if it's a bit more stacked delight side lights not gonna work um and even horizontally when it does work you can do this follow-up downlight reverse dare and you can also do downlight dare it just needs to be more stacked so that's the kind of the stacked option um and the cool thing with this combo is in white health it sets up for a three hit into a jump recovery at two dodge frames on four decks if i can hit it three dodge frames you can hit this into two and this can kind of catch your opponent off guard because down air is traditionally not an attack that people follow up but in white health i'm not hitting it right now you have to delay the recovery just like a little bit because the jump needs to give you there we go two dodge frames needs to give you enough verticality if that's a word um just to reach the recovery there we go um, yeah, this is really good in white health, but again, this just does not work. Like, even at like 20, it, it, it sends so high the down air, like you're not going to reach that. So maybe if you go for this, you can go for nares instead. Like, maybe go for more reactions. Like, let's say again, the bot, we set the dodge to be random. We downlight down air, see what they do, and then we nair. And that's a really good option. Downlight down air, then we nair. Or then we recovery, right? So like that went up i couldn't reach that down my down air maybe we dare then there you see what i'm saying it's also a really good setup tool um same with downlight side light um in terms of damage difference side light is doing 18.45 down is doing 17 so side light is a bit more damage um but both work like whatever you prefer you can try both and see which combos do you enjoy more not quite sure which one is the best and most optimal i'd say d light side light is more consistent um, but at this point, you're not going to be losing matches because your flow chart isn't optimized by that one or two percent. Either way, you pick um, the going horizontal or going vertical. It's setting you up for good tools and other stuff like that. Um, so we talked about white health. Let's talk a little bit later. So orange, this doesn't work. So there's two options other than downlight down there does work. This is the, your stacked option, no matter what. Like you hit this really stacked. I would downlight there or downlight there. I mean, um, but once you start getting into orange, downlight there works. So you can go for this, although it's not going to kill, but you get stage control. So this is a great tool to get stage control. Again, play for reactions, try and wait for that dodge to be used, and then keep going. But one other thing you can start to do, and this some pros do, especially with like soft platforms and whatnot, downlight jump chase dodge recovery. So downlight like this. So it's a tough input, but again, it's downlight. You jump, you dodge horizontally forward. It's a chase dodge. That's a normal dodge, but that's a chase dodge. Downlight jump chase dodge. And then after the chase dodge, you press the recovery button and it cancels the chase dodge. And the reason you go for this, it's kind of like the downlight side light. Um, you're going to be near your opponent. Like look how close I am to my opponent. I can play for reactions. It's a little bit hard, but it takes some getting used to in practice 
if you hit this. I didn't hit the Nair there. But you could go for a dare follow-up um, a little bit later. Or you just react to your opponent's dodge. I messed up the input. See what I mean? I saw the spot dodge, then I aired. See that dodge, then do that, and then, yeah. See what he does. And you see I reacted with that Sarah. So it's a really good kind of setup tool to extend longer combos. Um, but... Again, it's a bit hard to go for reactions. You're not necessarily getting stage control. So the easy solution is downlight Sair um, or downlight Dare. Both give you stage control and put you in a good position. Um, but you can go for, it's called a Russian Mafia, the downlight jump chase dodge like this. And once your opponent hits, I believe it's like 110, you can down her and that's gonna kill. So if your opponent's not dodging this, why not go for this? This is the most efficient you can go for. Um, if it's a little bit later in health, so like 130, uh, maybe 140, you can go for a Sair in there. Oh, it's not hitting. There we go. I have to hold back a bit. But again, these are like kind of slow options, right? Now we're going into 150 territory. Like, sure, you can go for that. Or you could just go for that. Um, and that's going to be way better. The dare stops working as easily as you get to the red. So if it's really stacked, you can go for it. But if you're horizontal, go for Sarah every single time. Once you're actually getting into this kill percent or, you know, 150-ish territory. Um, one thing to know, though, look at this. Downlight Sarah doesn't kill. Check this out. Downlight Downer, even though it's not hitting. If I reverse it, there we go. It does kill. It's a bit less consistent, so maybe only do it when you're stacked. But Dare kills sooner than Sare. It's just a bit harder to land. So you can kind of go for either. Uh, it's not a big difference because the difference in killing is like 10 damage. So it's rare that it's really going to matter. But it's something that you should know. And again, everything kind of stems out of Downlight. Everything else is just like keeping people away, poking be a really fast neutral light to get away from me kind of tool if you're stacked and you don't want to risk a down light um and then off stage so if your opponent's off stage you wait for a dodge and then you go for a recovery so now part of this guide i want to play an experimental game i'm gonna play hammer only and i'm gonna show you guys the general game plan and things you could do with hammer because it's kind of hard to teach the actual gameplay tips in training room so let's play experimental i'm gonna play scarlet because that's who i play um but Good hammer characters. Taros is phenomenal. Um, uh, Core is actually a pretty solid hammer, uh, in my opinion. Very underrated. Nash is a great hammer. Um, there's a lot of good hammer legends. Cassidy's honestly really underrated. Um, so many long combos. Um, she's just a little bit of like, not a one, not a one trick, but the high decks can be hard sometimes. But uh, you get a lot of combos i'm not so familiar with the nine dex combos on hammer but i know that there are a lot of them so i'll do some research if you want to play cassidy we're not gonna be going over that in this video thor is amazing i i think like every hammer character is really amazing magyar is actually creeping up into the meta recently and we haven't had a hammer character since uh new hammer character coming soon guys oh and yumiko's amazing every hammer character is amazing holy crap okay let's play some scarlet in this gameplay, I'm just going to be talking about the options I go for and why. It's a little hard while playing, um, but I'll try and explain myself the best I can. Nice, we got Hammer. I went for that. He dodged that. So, you know, good players will dodge stuff. Oops, slightly missed that. It was a bit of a getaway from a tool. It was stacked, so I did that. And then I went for these Nairs. Went for a Wake Up Gravity Cancel Downlight because we were kind of close to stacked. Um, but that's applicable to other weapons, like if you're close to stack. That was really terrible. And you see what I mean with the recovery. You don't want to be above hammer. The Sarah doesn't have too many follow-ups. You can Sarah end light, but I, it's not true. Or at least on Scarlet. Not familiar again with 9 dex Cassidy. And that side like kind of didn't bounce him properly. It went low, so I downlighted. He definitely could have dodged it though, it wasn't true. And then I can go for some SIGs on Scarlet, but that's not going to help you guys, so I'm not going to go for them. Like, they are kind of like down SIGs or something. It's kind of scared to get in stack. So sort of dodge that. That's fair. Dodge the up. I want the dash dodge. Okay. I should have stared that as a misinput. And yeah. 
Down lights there is going to be your most likely kill option. Again, with hammer, it's kind of patience, and then you want to be stacked. So you kind of, you know. Oh, that didn't hit. Something safe to go for. But yeah, it's a lot of. You want to be stacked with your opponent, but you don't want to force it. There, I played for a reaction, I just didn't get it. Went for a little Sarah follow up. What's he gonna do? Hammer recovery is so good. And then that ground pound. There are situations where you do use that ground pound to confirm things because you don't really have options that send downwards. You know, there sends upwards. Maybe recovery sends downwards, but you gotta be below your opponent. So if you're above your opponent and you want to send them downwards, you ground pound. Let's play one more. Greatsword kind of wants to be stacked. Went for a downlight there, but I didn't time it right. I could have went for the rush of Mafia. We're gonna try that. You see what I mean? I just played for that reaction. And waste your options, and I go for that recovery. That's a really good option when you know your opponent needs to waste his options to get back to stage. You can start fishing for that recovery. And yeah, that one Russian Mafia, instead of going for a downlight stair and resetting, it put me in a position where I was able to extend it. I probably could have went for like an end sig there. I'm dodge away. Oh, I shouldn't have done that against Guitars. Didn't kill me though. Six defense, Scarlet. Okay. Yeah, great sword players wake up with that a lot. Grab a hammer in a second. Or not. Give me my hammer. Okay, that was a good play from him. The weapon toss. Yeah, so people do something like this. You can like just dash sig if you don't think it's reactable. I went for that. I could have went for the rush of Maka knowing it wouldn't have killed. Or maybe I could have went for a down air, but I went with what works. Okay. See, that's not true, but some people might not dodge it, so it's kind of... I had a lead to play with. He's got no dodge, so I went for some stuff. Going for this. Nope. Going for this. It's Scarlet. Went for a reaction. He didn't go down that time. He went, like, horizontally away. Get stacked. Yeah. So, guys, that's how you play Hammer. I played those two matches very similarly, so you can kind of see kind of patience, be stacked. Go for some stuff. GG's Mikey wants a rematch, but no thank you. Sorry, man. Hope this video helped you improve at Brahalla. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys later. Peace.